hello there dear friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching another episode of five talking point and five talking point in this video is going to be for the game between Rennes and Chelsea Football Club Chelsea won away 2-1 thanks to Olivier Giroud last minute goal very lucky but that's what you need sometimes in football luck is part of the game and sometimes you don't have to play good you just need to win the game and that's what we did i'm not gonna complain too much because we are qualified to the next round of the champions league and uh, we are going to improve and learn from that game overall the game was really scary for me I couldn't really watch certain actions that uh, we couldn't even take it off in that field. It was shambolic. We were very heavy. It looked like uh, we didn't even train. Everybody got very heavy legs. But at the end, we won. So let's leave it there. So my first talking point for the game is going to be Timo Werner. Should we worry about Timo Werner? Because it's becoming a habit that he doesn't score. <laughs> you know what I mean? One on ones, a lot of chances created for him, not only in the Champions League, but in the Premier League too. So many people online been saying this is uh, Torres 2.0 which is very harsh because Timo Werner is good even when he's not scoring. People don't see the overall work that Timo Werner is going to is doing on the field. He's creating a lot of spaces. He's, la he's uh, confusing the defense all the time and he assists sometimes. So I think people need to chill out, give him time and he's going to score those goals i think the pressure is building on him and in his head he already scored the goal but in reality the goal is not scored yet so timo verna need to chill out and not put pressure on himself just relax and be the timo verna that we knew at uh, Leipzig. i'm not worried at all i'm not worried i still think that he's going to be the golden boot in the Premier League and probably in the Champions League. Let me know what do you think about Timo Werner. The second talking point for this video is going to be about Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard really pissed me off in that game. I wasn't happy at all. Starting by the lineup, I didn't really like it because I wanted to see certain players uh rested and play the people who are not uh, playing because they have something to prove you know so i think the bench was better than our starting 11 who clearly were very tired i said it in my preview video i'm not flip-flopping i said it that i would like to see some changes because the bench is also very strong and they are going to play better than the first team because of the fatigue. Me from my couch, I could tell clearly that Timo Werner needed some rest and other players that are put on the list. So if you haven't checked on my match preview, you can click the link in the description and go watch what I said back then so I don't have to repeat myself. Frank Lampard need to learn how to do the right thing the right time and today the fatigue from the first team was going to cost us big and we are lucky that Olivier Giroud was there to save the day let's move on for the third talking point for this video is going to be about our defense today the defense was shaky I don't understand man the coordination really didn't work exactly the way we want it you know they were all over the place and Rennes 
cut us open. I was even surprised at some point. I was shaking and I was sweating. You know, it's winter here and I was sweating because I could see the goal coming. I could see the pressure. I can feel the pressure from home. So the defense wasn't 100%, but let's say that uh, Edouard Mendy was there to save the day because without Edouard Mendy, it was going to be humiliation. So the defense need to fix up themselves but i think part of that is because they were very tired let's move on talking about the defense let's talk about fourth point which is fikayo tomori now i'm still i'm starting losing faith because i don't know what else he needs to do to get even a chance i mean how can you improve or how can you show people wrong and fight for your place if you are not given a chance to play on the field? I'm not getting on Frank Lampard here, but rotation is the key. We need to rotate everybody. Games are coming thick and fast and we're gonna need Tomori at some point. So if we play him only when everybody else is injured and then he's, go he's not going to be in the level of other players if you know what i'm trying to say justice for tomori and i am expecting him to be given a chance very soon otherwise i'm gonna give up and uh, tell him to leave because what the point of sitting on the bench working very hard in training and not getting a minute on the field tomori need a chance or we need to free tomori so he can go somewhere and enjoy his football the last talking point number five is going to be olivier giroud yeah the hero one more time olivier giroud is always there to save the day when needed the attitude from that guy is top notch he doesn't complain often i know he just gave some interview in france but that was just honest interview to say, hey, I want some playing time because my chance of going to Euros is going down and down. So I need to play. That is not like complaining. So when he's needed, he always delivers. Uh, it reminds me uh, last season, the second half of the season, he saved us and he helped us get to top four. So Olivier Giroud, chapeau and this is a player that uh, many youngsters need to learn from. Never complain about everything. Always very professional. And oh my gosh, that goal was very important because if we didn't score that goal, my goodness, Frank Lampard it was going to be in hot water. And that is exactly what Sari people are looking for. You draw the game. Or you lose so they can say I told you so Frank Lampard is shit Frank Lampard need to do Frank Lampard need to go he's not good enough for this club I always tell you blah 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 they forgot that there is a process a new team you are going to go up and down up and down it's gonna continue there will be games that we are going to lose we can't go the entire season without losing games. We are going to lose games. We are going to have some very, very poor games. And you say, where is the process? You know, you ask yourself questions, but that is normal. That is a normal way of development. 